In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create five hanging options infographic slide in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I've created one kind of a rod here at the top. When I click, it will show me the first option, option number one. You can add the title and the detailed text and I've given some reflection effect at the bottom. So when I click, it will show you second, third, fourth and fifth. So depending on the requirement, you can increase or decrease these options. And I've created one more slide where I've used a white background or light color background you can see here without the bar all right so depending on the requirement you can just choose which slide you need it and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to support my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon so let's start the tutorial add a new slide and change the background to any dark color background then go to insert shapes from the basic shapes, I'm going to choose the teardrop shape. Just click it like this, shape outline, make it no outline. And the height, I'm going to make it as 1 or 1.1 depending on the requirement. So you can just see this orange point, just drag this a little bit, okay. Then hold the Alt key on the keyboard and then rotate it by using the right arrow key, okay. So I end up getting a shape which looks something like this, alright. So this is my first one, then go to insert shapes. I'm going to use a oval shape, draw a small oval shape here by holding the shift key. Okay, just put it exactly below this teardrop option and then go to insert shapes. I'm going to choose a rectangle. You can see here this rectangle, just choose a rectangle. Again, depending on the requirement, how much big you want, you can just make it and make sure that it is properly aligned. Again, shape outline, make it no outline. This also shape outline, make it no outline. Let me just give some lighter color so that it will be more visible. So I'm just going to give a kind of a yellow color here. And for this one, I can use one more shape. All right. Or I can just use this particular rectangle shape and this color also i'm going to change this to white and then i can just cut this into two parts for that go to insert shapes i'm going to choose one more rectangle draw a rectangle on top of this you can see here then hold the shift key select this one hold the shift key and then merge shape i'm going to make it fragment and then just delete this one and here you can see here there are two objects now so i'm just going to give this yellow color here all right and then I can just connect it with the help of a line. So go to insert shapes from the line. I'm going to choose the line line. You can just draw from here to here shape outline. You can make it white and then again control D again this one in the center or you can just put it here and put it here like this. So you can see here I've created this one option just select all the option move it one side and press ctrl g to group it now i can just hold the ctrl shift key and just drag this one so depending on the requirement how much options i need i can just drag and drop it so you can see here i've added four options you can just put it in the center and then on the top i'm going to create one rectangle select the rectangle where it is going to hang the options all right so just put it here shape outline make it no outline then right mouse click go to the format shape i'm going to give a gradient fill for that go to the F shape options under fill select the gradient fill and here i'm going to use the first gradient some dark gray color then this second stop i'm going to make it a light gray color then here also I'm going to make it somewhat lighter and then again here I'm going to make it a darker gray. Okay, so depending on the requirement you can see here, you can just, it looks like a kind of a gray rod. Alright, so if you want you can just reduce the size and then I'm going to hang this option onto this particular bar. Okay, if you want you can just select this one, you can make it a hole or you can just uh, make a straight uh, kind of a thread here. So again, for example, if you want to do that one, right mouse click and ungroup this one. All right, and then go to insert 
shapes i'm going to select the oval shape draw a oval shape on top of this teardrop hold the shift key so that you can make a small option here i mean uh, oval shape again make sure it is in the center so now i'm going to select this teardrop hold the shift key select this one merge shape i'm going to subtract it okay so i end up getting a shape which looks something like this you can see here okay there is a hole in the center here so then go to insert shapes from the lines i'm going to choose this particular freeform scribble i can just draw a scribble here like this till here and double click shape outline i can make it white color and you can increase the weight here okay again if you want to give some more effect so let me just zoom in and i can just go to insert shapes again from the lines i'm going to choose the scribble all right and then i'm just going to make it a kind of a knot here all right and again white so it looks something like this all right so now again i don't want this one let me just delete it because i have changed this here so i'm going to select all these options without the rod press ctrl g to group it move it aside a little bit all right here you can see here then hold the control shift key just add one by one so one two three four and five so here if the gaps is not equal i can just select this rectangles go to the shape format align distribute horizontally so equal shape equal spaces has been given so now it's easy for me i can just choose this one i can just give some different color combination to each one here you can see here any color combination you can just choose so i can now select this one maybe i can give a kind of a purple here like this you can just add one by one different color combinations so this one maybe i can use a uh, light the peach color okay so once this is done you can add the options here so you can go to insert text box i can just say zero one here center align make it uh, bold increase the size and i'm going to put it here one again hold the control shift key this is two this is three this is four and this is five just hold the control shift key and drag it so this is five this is four this is three this is two all right so once this is done you can add the detailed text here equals lorem within brackets one and i'm just going to delete the unwanted text i don't need this much long text and reduce the font size maybe center align and if you want you can insert some title here on top of it all right so again this is center align make it bold and i'm going to put exactly in the center all right so now this one and this one i'm going to select hold the control shift key and then just drag it here one by one all right you can see here if you want you can add some icons to it all right so once this is done i'm going to select each option one more time and i'm going to group it you can see here this is the first option this is the second option highlight and press ctrl g okay so you can see here let me just do it for this one and then i'll do it for this option press ctrl g all right now let me just go to the animations enable the animation pane now i'm going to select all this animation hold the shift key and select this animation and i'm going to say fly in fly in i can make it from left and this should happen on click all right so if i play the slide so this is my first option second third fourth and fifth again if you want you can give a kind of uh you can go to the right mouse click sorry you can just select right mouse click go to the format shape 
and I'm going to give so let me just select all these options once again go to the shape options under the effects and I can go to the reflection and I can give some reflection here all right you can give this reflection or you can just give a little bit of less reflection also so you can see here this first one second third fourth and fifth 